Okay, it's Saturday morning. I've just dropped the motorhome off for its habitation and vehicle service and MOT. So I thought I'd have a look round some of the vans that are here at Todd's. And starting with this one here. Uh, this is a model I've not looked at before. This is the Swift Voyager 564. Part of the Swift's Ford range. This one is 70,290. This is brand new. Have a little look at the specs. 155 brake horsepower, six speed manual, license friendly, and it's 7.2 meters long and 2.37 uh, wide. 2.86 meters high, so nine foot five. They've all got this little sort of bulge in the cab. A big locker here. Now this is a French bed model, so there will be a, quite a large locker under the French bed. Uh, water, and I've got the pump access for the external pump. Bike rack on the back, rear view camera. It's a one piece uh, rear on here. Obviously if something goes wrong, then you obviously need to replace the whole thing or presumably they can repair it. Here's the side, a toilet. LPG, electric point, all fairly standard stuff. Let's have a look inside. I'll start with the bed actually, since it's in the up position. You can see what a massive sort of space this gives you. Little bit of intrusion from the heater there, but it's still got all that space at the back there. Quite a handy. I've got to push this down there. Yeah, quite a nice size bed. There's a bit of a, a long cut off on this, so it's obviously narrower at the foot than it is at the shoulders. Lockers at the back. It's got one of these new sunroofs, I quite like these. They're on this like ratchet thing here. It will seem to work quite well. Very deep locker, that's good. It's a bit of a shelf there, there's no other lockers along the side. And there's a little lockerette there. Okay, and presumably that's where you can stand your telly. Because uh, there is a TV point in there. Oh, there's two sockets there actually. There's one there and one up there. Okay, unusual. And the reason for the cutoff is so that you can get into the washroom. Let's see if I can put the light on in here. I guess light's just down there. So a big mirror. Quite a nice uh, sink area there. It's not huge, the sink. Nice to see, nice to see the toilet on the floor rather than up on a pedestal. Got some hooks there. Quite a reasonable size cupboard. A bit of a shuffle to get round into the shower. But two drain holes. Okay, well, that's good. Nice and square, the actual shower area. Big light there, big bright light. And bifold door. Okay, it's nice, quite a good shower area. Like I say, a little bit of a squeeze between there but it's not too bad. Yeah, got a locker down there. What a nice big mirror. Hello. Uh. Oh, let's switch the lights off here. That's there isn't it? Yeah. It's coming out of the washroom. Yeah, there's a little cupboard there. I was sort of expecting to find the table in there. Oh, well, I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. There's a slidey thing that goes across to close off the bedroom area. Oh, that's quite nice. I think the 
It's our, our little Dometic fridge. I'll put the light on here. There we go. It's a good, it's a good size fridge. It, uh, it does okay. It's all taped up at the moment. So you see how new this is. They haven't even taken the protective tape off that yet. Here's the cooker. Three gas and one electric. It is a triplex uh, oven. So oven grill in there and hob there. Looks like you could have an, a microwave here. That would be the obvious place to put it, but you've got a nice bit of cupboard space there. And there's your Truma uh, solar charge controller. More cupboardry in there, and that's where your plates would go. Very similar sort of cupboard layout to ours. You've got a cupboard up there. You probably would put your satellite dish in there. It's got, it's obviously got a TV point in there. Don't think they've fitted the TV uh, booster yet by the looks of it. Like I say, I think this has only in been in a couple of days. It's your Truma control and your sort of typical uh, Swift Voyager panel, all very functional, little micro switch button type things. So your battery for the habitation area for the vehicle, uh, water levels, uh, pump on and off. Not sure what that is. What's that? Oh yeah, uh, not sure what that is. And that must be the awning light. No, that's lights, isn't it? Oh, that's okay. That's the lights in here. The temperature sensor, that's where smoke alarm goes. Fly screen on the door. There's no pocket here because you've just got the fridge, but there is a grab handle. It's nice to see. And you've got these coat hooks that pop out. I've actually got a TV point up there, so you could mount your, your lounge TV here, which would be a good place to put it. I presume that's why you've got, yeah, you've got the TV points in there, haven't you? So makes sense to put it there. Going into the lounge, some huge lockers here, absolutely enormous. Very tall, quite deep. Got four of those all the way around. I do like these Swift lounges, they, you know, they are good. The backrest here is a bit reclined because they've reclined this sort of back thing here. Normally there's like clips that clip onto there. Hold the cushions in place, but they've all got their plastic wrappers on. And uh, more cushions here. And the real uh, beauty of this lounge is this folding table. And you've got this um, flap that pulls out. And it makes quite a nice big table. And yet, when there's just two of you, you can probably get away with just having that there. You can find the handle. And you could probably eat like that one on either side. I do like these tables, they are good. I mean, it's the same in the Baileys, of course. I think it's the same make of table. It's even got the same handle. It's also got a little sort of cutout now. Notice that just to allow you to lift it up. Of course, you've got the cab seats. It doesn't actually feel as low. I perhaps can get used to it, but uh, sat in a few of these Ford cab seats and they always feel a bit low. They are height adjustable, so maybe someone had them on the low setting. This is a manual Ford. It's got all the nice uh, Ford bits. Some people said the Ford dashboard is a little bit boring. Possibly is, but it's very functional. And if you've ever driven any Ford car, Focus or Fiesta or anything like that, you'll find, you'll find yourself very much at home here. Great big panel here. Um, we sat in oven. Uh, goodness knows what else. Nav, camera, voice, DAB. Yeah. And all these pockets here, or ducats as Aileen calls them. <laughs> this one doesn't appear to have any blinds on it, so there must be some stick on covers, which is a bit of a shame. There's no cab blinds there. I don't think there are anyway. No, no, they're not. 
there's no fitted blinds so presumably you use like a interior covers or if you get a, um, a tailor-made screen just put that on there that's what I'd do tiny little sort of locker there but uh, again you've got the ducats there <laughs> and a little sunroof it's not a huge sunroof which seems a bit of a bit of a waste because you've got all this uh, roof area here it's only when you get back to here you've got a little roof light yeah it could have, could have had a bigger roof there but over here you've got the bed controls uh, table controls I should say so that's for bringing the table up or down there we are two main sockets there and dimmer switch there is it a dimmer switch or is it just an off switch yeah it's just an off switch and you've still got your little light up here as well yep that window there obviously we've got in the way of cupboards here oh yeah okay this is the usual uh, swift layout that we're familiar with the <coughs> cutlery drawer will be in there space to put things there and there but you've got a load of cupboard space here which we haven't got because your heater unit is under the bed that's good mr cupboard here that's a little drawer okay well, that's quite quite neat you could put some pans in there couldn't you yeah, like that. Hmm. And I almost missed it. Here's your hanging area. There's a few shelves at the bottom. Quite a tall hanging area, so that's good if you got long dresses or <laughs> fancy suits. Yeah. Yeah, another one I wanted to have a look at was this uh, Swift Ascar Ascari 372. This is 72,495. Now this s replaces the Swift Select models, which are the, uh, sorry, the Swift Select Compact models, which as you can see are the narrower vans. You've got the narrower wing mirrors. So if you're looking for a, a nice compact van you might want to be looking at these models here so let's have a little look around this is on a fiat there's a water filler a toilet cassette alloy wheels there's your electric point and your truma vent on the back it's quite a neat little area at the back this is a, a rear lounge model so it's Got the big window at the back, rear view camera at the top, and a bit of a locker in the back here. Now that goes all the way back, you can see that goes on for forever, that does. And back there, that's quite a nice bit of storage there. Have a look at the spec sheet. So, Swifter's Gallery 372, 140 litre, 140 litre. So Swift Ascari 372, 2.2 litre, 140 brake horsepower, six speed manual, license friendly, and this is 6.65 metres long, and more importantly, 2.26 metres wide, 2.78 metres high. So it's not very high, and it's not very wide, and it's under seven metres. So if you are looking for a smaller van, Hmm, this might be one to consider. And it is on the Fiat. Yeah, okay, let's have a look inside. Quite a nice, sleek over cab. Proper uh, hardtail door with window and blind. This one's got travel seat at the front. Let's have a little sit down. Also, we have a look around. Oh, yeah, it's nice and comfy. Yeah, that's good. Have a look at it. Very stylish looking seats. Sporty looking, I'd say. Uh, 
and you've got a I'm not sure what this what sort of unit that is but uh, it's a manual six-speed manual obviously on the new Fiat the cab lines are the ones that pull up I think that's where the rear view camera is going but obviously if you've got a mirror in there you could see out the back that's interesting isn't it they're still putting a camera in there it's good to see that actually uh, a little locker there and another one another one there stops things falling on your head always seems to be happening to us this is a sort of um the new look for a lot of the swift uh, vans so you've got these fabrics here there's no curtains in a lot of the new vans notice that they seem to have done away with curtains some nice features here like there's a little charging point usb charging point there whilst you're going along charge your phone for the passengers reading lights either side no main sockets at the front here uh, notice yeah I might miss something on these because these are brand new and I've not, not looked at them before might be that might be where your TV is going I might be wrong there but uh, this is all still all taped up it's brand new that's a, a hook there usual swift command swift command uh, swift control panel there and trim heating what we've got here oh. Not sure what's going on there. Oh, right, okay. All right, okay. I could see that it moved. I couldn't figure out why it moved. That's quite neat. You can still get past it as well. Yeah, not a bad idea, actually. Got to figure out how to get it back now. <laughs> Come back in a minute. I fiddle to get that back in there. <laughs> I suppose you get used to it. Cutlery drawer. And I think that's where the gas locker is in there. Don't think that comes out. That's not just part of it. It's a rather nice looking kitchen, uh, camper van style with a three burner hob but you do need that work um, work extension here you notice there's not that much well, hardly any uh, preparation room there quite a nice wide aisle quite quite surprised with that got a little uh, little Dometic oven there it's okay for doing a few pies and things good size drawer and a little flap there for your pans uh, got a uh, Dometic fridge uh, with a freezer compartment that's okay reasonable size the sort of thing you would find in a camper van really now it looks like it's a three-way rather than a compressor fridge okay uh, microwave here no turntable good to see uh, cupboard above and your waste and dump valves are there little roof light above there yeah not a bad little kitchen but uh, a little bit lacking in workspace I suppose you have got another flap here look. oh there you go I'll give you a bit more workspace always worried about things falling off onto the sofa with the little button things but yeah this is the reason for buying this fan it's a huge lounge this is a really big lounge this sofa I'm sitting on is longer than the other one so you could probably sit sleep along this one I'm not sure a shorter person could sleep along there but yeah lovely sort of open area this is you can sit in the corner and you can see how long that sofa is there yeah, I'm quite impressed with this. Uh, 
Thank you. <laughs> It's quite stylish in here, really. Sounding like a real uh, swift fanboy here, aren't I? <laughs> I know, but <laughs> quite like it. I'll show you something in a minute that's not quite so good. But yeah, yeah, no, not quite like these. Look, there's a little USB here. That's on off. These cupboards are quite stylish looking. Not really huge. But uh, they look okay. Don't go to the back there, but that's okay. But you've got three cupboards along there. You've got your TV uh, items there. Let me just put the light on. Yeah, you've got your TV uh, points there, another USB. Uh, obviously, your light switch there. Yeah, that's good. Now, I haven't looked in the wet room. It is a wet room. You've got a drop down sink there. Okay, a uh, toilet and a duck board there. Oh, that's quite nice. You've got a little sort of area there. You've got these. These are a blast from the past. These are. Oh, it's a little button on them. Yeah, it's all a little plastic locker area. But that's okay, it keeps all your stuff together. Uh, you've got a separate shower head. Yeah, I've got a separate tap and shower head, which is always good to see. Toilet, no, toilet not too high, I think that's okay. I can't test it with Jenny, obviously. And you've got, yeah, yep, yeah. always struggle with these. Tambor doors, I'm not, I must admit, I'm not a huge fan of tambor doors. But other good points is you've got a uh, uh, drying rail, you've got a little uh, roof light there, you've got like a marble effect wall. It's quite nice, yeah, it's quite nice looking. Got a little cover for your toilet roll. But uh, it's not the biggest shower I've ever seen, but it's probably better than some camper vans. And obviously that's what you're looking at here. You're looking at really a, an alternative to a camper van. Something possibly that gives you a bit more room in the lounge. Uh, you might have a bit more knee room here. I'm sitting on there and there's quite a bit of room between me and the other pair of knees that would be across there. Here's your uh, hanging space and you've got the pedestal table in there. And, uh, that's your hanging space there. I think there's obviously something for, I don't know what that is. I don't know what top you're not sure. But your uh, aerial and booster are in there. That's where your pedestal table goes. And look, there's more USB and a main socket there. Uh, yeah, it's good. I think the narrowest part of the van is, is there, isn't it really? But I can fit through easily, I'm not shuffling by. Yeah. Okay. So this is the gas locker. And this is the biggest drawback, I think, with this van. It's only space for the smaller, are they 3.9 litre uh, gas bottles that they don't do anymore. So uh, you're either looking at putting a refillable on here. Uh, Todd's have told me that they're going to keep a supply of the smaller cylinders specifically for these vans. And I think that is quite a drop off really. But I suppose when Swift designed it, they didn't know that uh, Calla were going to drop those little bottles. Now you may be able to get obviously other adapters, other size bottles in there, I don't know. But I'd be looking at fitting a refillable one if you were going to get this van. So I think that's the biggest drop off with this van. Other than that, I think it's quite nice. It's quite stylish, compact, under seven meters. Definitely worth having a look at. Another new van in here is this Auto Trail C71 Expedition. Now this has got a huge overcap, 62,159.
They're steel wheels, but they are 16 inch wheels. I keep seeing these aerials on these vans. I don't know quite why doing that. Perhaps it saves money on having the aerial in the, in the mirror. I think, yeah, no, they are the wide mirrors, aren't they? It's on a Fiat. I'll have a little look round. It's quite high up. You've got quite a step up there. And you've got the pull out step, and another step, then another step. So it's quite, they are quite high a lot of these auto trails. And they look high as well. Let's have a look at the specs. 140 brake horsepower at Fiat, six speed, 7.25 meters long, 2.35 meters wide, and its overall height is 3.16 meters high. So yeah, it is quite, quite a tall van. Uh, we'll have a look in a minute. There's your toilet area. Yeah, unusually the gas lockers at the back here. So we've got, I'm not sure what they've got there. Presumably they're quite tall, so I probably could fit the bigger cylinders in there. But, uh, hmm. Yeah, hasn't got the crash sensor, so just uh, switch it off when you're traveling. But yeah, it does look like a tall motorhome. <laughs> Got to step quite a way back because it is so tall. <laughs> All right. Quite a big locker in here. A locker, what do you call it, a garage, possibly? Looks like the bed goes up. Some sort of mechanism in there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Bike rack provision. Bike is quite high up. Blimey, that is high up. I think I'd really struggle to get a bike on that bike rack. Well, wow. you need a step ladder. <laughs> uh, uh, trimmer heating. There's your fresh water dump valve. Whale point there, and your electricity point there, and there's the fresh water, uh, the wastewater dump there. Obviously, got the fridge midships. And Fiat cab. So let's have a look inside. A couple of steps, and you're up. I mean, the one benefit of the uh, the the vehicle being so high is obviously you've got no um, step down into the lounge. The lounge is at the same level as the cab. Now, the thing about this one is this massive uh, bed at the front. Obviously that goes up somehow. Yeah, it goes up. And uh, yeah, massive double bed. Quite a nice uh, skylight there. Looks like the curtains or something. I don't really know that. No, I think that's just the thing. Maybe there's some uh, privacy curtains or something that goes in there. But yeah, massive overcab bed. And usual Fiat cab arrangement. Great big table here. Look at that table. It's a huge blooming table, that is. It's a bit of a shuffle to get in. And it goes right up against the seat. I assume the seat's in its furthest back position here. But yeah, quite a nice big table. But this is a real shuffle to get in here for me. I think once I'm in, that's okay. Once I'm in, that's all right. But I think you'd want to put that away when you're traveling. Another seat over here. Let's move over so you can see what we're looking about, looking at here. Ooh. Cushions are moving, that fixed yet. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. There's the sergeant power supply. And more cupboards there. Funny you've got different style of cupboards there and it suddenly goes into these square cupboards. Why they didn't carry on with those quite stylish looking cupboards.
cupboards in the kitchen, but there you go. And rather sort of plain wood effect cupboards. They are okay, but it just looks like, mm, I don't know, I suppose it differentiates the kitchen from the lounge. But anyway, so what have we got? We've got a triplex oven, uh, three gas burner hob, got this pop-up thing for a jar. Oh yeah, there we go, three of them. Can't see, you got, haven't got enough main sockets in the kitchen. Yeah, nice little cutlery drawer. And another little drawer. Well, that looks like quite good size cupboards. Yeah, all good. Of course, having a smaller oven, this means there's more space down there. A little bit of pipe work in there, but I'm sure you could fit things in there. It's carpeted as well. That must be the wheel arch, so will help with a bit of noise. Yeah. Huge, huge sink. You can wash a baby in there, <laughs> or a dog. <laughs> a smallish fridge, a bit like the uh, Ascari's fridge, that is. Uh, manual ignition, blimey, I haven't seen one of those for a while. So you have to, pr when you're on gas, you have to keep pressing that until it lights and there's a little green indicator that goes over to tell you the gas is lit. So yeah, there you go. I'll have a look in the bedroom in a minute. Uh, washroom area, okay. It's a fairly compact washroom area, for, considering this is such a big van, <laughs> but uh, there is a reason for that. That'll be the big bed at the back. It always compromises with motones, that's the thing you, you learn. <laughs> Something's got to give. It's quite a nice square sink. And we've got hanging space up there. Is that the wardrobe or is there more hanging space? I think that's just drying, that's good. I could see that jumping off when you're driving along, but never mind. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. No, it's not a bad little washer in that. Um, you've got to step up into the area so the, the toilet is already on a level, so it's not sticking up on a blooming pedestal. Yeah, like I say, um, the reason for the smaller washroom is the island bed. This is in its day position. If we can pull it down. Oh, there we go, something like that. So yeah, there would be a little bit of a shuffle to get past it, but in its day position, uh, plenty of lounging capacity there. And a great big locker for your hanging space. I mean, coats and everything go in there. They've stuck with the little neck curtains and the blinds. But yeah, I think in its um, nighttime position there would be a bit of a shuffle to get past that. What have you got here? It's got some more lockers there. No lockers around here, but another... Well, that's not a wardrobe, is it? That's okay. That's why that one's so big, is that this is just like a shelf area. Some more space down there, and presumably over there as well. Yeah, you've got a USB over in the corner there, and you've got your switches over there. Decent sized window either side, but a tiny little, <laughs> tiny little sort of hatch there, and that's actually, um, actually it's non-translucent is what I'm trying to find the words for. You could put your TV over there, I suppose there's a TV point there. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting sort of layout. Hmm. Lots of uh, nice little things about it. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out if this made into a bed. I don't think it does, so it is purely a four berth. Uh, if someone doesn't mind climbing up ladders, you've got a load of space up there. I think I'd prefer that bed actually to, <laughs> to that bed, <laughs> if I could get up there. 
Okay, what we've got here is a Swift Carrera 144 panel van conversion, 73,495. 